My adventure on the Sea of Thieves today wasn't meant to go like this. Well, actually, it, it was, but I was meant to go for a lot longer than the hour I ended up playing. You see, I originally planned on stacking 10 sea forts in total, mostly to get some cool stacked loot pictures to screw up my FPS, but also because sea forts are just a fun little activity I can solo without too much hassle. So I loaded in with the intent of doing 10, stacking all of the spooky glowing chests in the middle of my sloop, decorating it with the skulls of my enemies along the sides, but as I set sail I was informed that I was required to go and do some errands around town today, meaning I had a measly 60 minutes to get in and get out. But I was not deterred, the plan was still the same, go and kill some phantoms for a bit of treasure. I made my way to the Traitor's Fate Fortress from the Galleon's Grave Outpost and made short work of the Phantoms, searching for the key along the way. Unlocking both of the doors and harpooning all of the loot down to my boat, I started to imagine how my vessel would have looked at the end of 10 whole sea forts. A pipe dream for today, but I was making my way down to the next fort when I thought to myself, what can you achieve in one hour on this game? What kind of short and sweet adventures can you go on? How much loot can you obtain? And so that brings me to this video today and honestly this is probably going to be ending up as some sort of mini series about one hour to play the game, what can you do, no, it's, it's, it should be really fun. Arriving at the next sea fort I dispatched the phantoms, now, if you didn't know the phantoms on a sea fort are a one shot from a flintlock pistol and eye of reach, also three sword hits will kill them. They are incredibly easy and drop a lot of ammunition pouches to keep you stocked up on bullets, making the few waves of enemies you need to clear a breeze. To see bullets worth of loot on my boat later I set sail back to the first fort as it should have respawned. Dodging the cannonballs fired by the blokes with blindfolds on, I pulled up to clear the fort once again. Killing phantoms and looting the cupboards, hunting for the storeroom key. The loose loot you can get from the cupboards isn't all that great and I'd recommend searching for the storeroom key only, which will usually spawn on the second or the third level of the sea fort. After killing the captain a third time, I was really starting to gain an appreciation for my flintlock pistol, but my time was quickly running out. Grabbing all of the loot, I set it on the lower level, harpooned it all, stacked it for a quick couple of photos and sailed back to the Galleon's Grave outpost to sell. Now at the beginning of this short adventure I raised a Gold Hoarder's Emissary Flag, and it's well worth noting that I was actually able to achieve a Grade 5 Flag from the three forts I completed. But the main point of doing this, what was it all worth in the end? Well, being at the dock I sold all of the Merchant Alliance goods first for a total of 16,369 gold. Next was the Gold Hoarders, and with the Grade 5 flag and 3 Mermaid Gems I gathered, I made 65,752. For the Order of the Souls, I made almost a neat 20k at 19,904 gold. In total, just over 100,000 gold for about 55 minutes. I can think of some better ways of making money, and this could have gone better or worse depending on the wind time spent searching for the storeroom key etc but overall I was pretty impressed. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like down below and comment what kind of one hour play session adventure you would like to see next. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.